Bluebird 198, one local address established, send dollars. Bluebird 198, can you give me a wind check, please? I'm showing 240 now. Alaykum as-salam, Gulfair 017, Bahrain ground, clear to Frankfurt via Mike 444, Davos, Clamour City, 4000 feet, squawk 4451. Papa Alpha holding point, three zero right. Check. Left is clear. And right is clear. Papa straight ahead to the right. Check. Flight control checks. Pull up. Pull down. Neutral. For left. For right. Neutral. Before take of checklist. Flight controls? It's checked. Checked. Flight instruments? It's checked. Check. Briefing? It's confirmed left hand seat takeoff. Flap setting? Config 1 set. Config 1. V1, VR, V2. Flex temperature. We got 166, 166, 166, and flex 61. Folding. 166, 166, 166, and flex 61. Full length. Green dot speed? 227, we have 226 because of the um, wind drop. Check. ATC? Uh, set. Echo load sheet. Received. Down to the line. Check. Cabin secured. And we are ready check. for departure. 250, runway 3 is right, clear, take off. After departure, right heading 350, 4000 feet, clear for take off, runway 30 right, go clear 017. Ready? A firm. Wind is from the right. Copied. I have control have and control. take off. Check. My flex 61, SRS runway, auto thrust blue. Check. Thrust set. Hundred knots checked. V one rotate. Pass the climb. Get up. Train we track. Check. To pilot one. Check. Heading. Check. Thrust climb, open climb, auto thrust engaged. Check. doing with you and this is uh, have with me today first officer Fatma Ibrahim welcome aboard our uh, Airbus uh, 321 Neo uh, today we're operating flight from Bahrain to uh, Paris uh, via Frankfurt my apologies I didn't have a chance to say hello on the ground and that's due to uh, we're just a bit uh, busy on the ground um, we're now cruising at 24,000 feet uh, we're expecting um, a flight of around six hours now we're flying to uh, Paris by Frankfurt and I just want to show you the routing uh, on the iPad. So this is our route uh, today where as you can see we're flying through uh, uh, Kuwait, uh, Iraq, uh, Turkey, uh, Bulgaria, Romania, Hungary, uh, Austria and uh, lastly through uh, Germany. We're going to have a quick stop in Germany and then we're going to resume uh, our route uh, to Paris. So we're expecting an ILS around the 25 center. Yeah. We briefed the arrival already, so that's chart 11-6, 30th of October 2020, effective 5th of November, 
Our last frequency is 111.55, final approach course 248. Check. And Glory to be accepted at Red Go at 4000. Checked. Rain elevation 364, we have 400. Check. And MSS 3500. Left heading 310. Left heading 310, Gulf Air 017. Left heading 310. Check. Gulf Air 017, wind calm, runway 25 center to land. Yes, land 25 center, Gulf Air 017. One shift. Five hundred. Stable. Continue. Land. Check. Hundred above. Check. Check. Minimum. Continue. Check. Fifty, forty, thirty, twenty. Retard. Retard. Five. Spoilers. Reverse the green. Decent. Check. Manual braking. Check. 70 knots. Check. All the lights are off. Just ask him, can we take this turn? You said to the right. To the uh, right. Gulf Air 017, uh, vacating to the right. Thank you. Connect April 121855. Bye bye. 121855, Gulf Air 017, get it. Sensor confirmed. Cabin? Secure. No PED. As um, auto? AD, sorry. T cast? Right turn off and left turn on to Lima. Say again? Right turn on Lima, channel 4049. Interval selector? Normal. Uh, back. Right turn off the That's runway, left turn on left. B4 take off checklist completed. Check. Lima, channel 4049 are heaven. Zero one seven one one two zero degrees two knots runway two five center clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff runway two five center Gulf Air zero one seven. Clear for takeoff ready. A firm. You have control. I have control. Takeoff check. Channel seven four zero nine taxi via Lima and Yankee hold short of Yankee two. 
intensive our Dima. Young P two. Tanatha four zero nine are heavy. Trust the set. Check. Hundred knots, check. V one, check. Rotate. Positive climb, gear up. Enough. American Manor 725, point one two zero degrees, two knots, runway two five, seven, excellent. Runway two five, seven, American Manor 725. Gaffet 0179, identified, contact departure, one three six, seven, one three zero. One just dropping up. Yes. Five hundred. Check. This is David. Not pilot. Continue. Checked. Cat three second. Check. Cat one. Hundred above. Check. Tour de Gaulle à 30 0 0 7, bonjour, final 20, c'est gauche. 30 0 0 7, bonjour, utilisez 160 nœuds, 5 nautiques derrière un Airbus 350, vent 200 degrés, 6 nœuds, piste 26 secondes. 50, 40, 30, 20, retard, retard, retard. Spoilers. Where's green? Decent green. Check. Take the next one. 70 Check. knots. Disconnect. Control. You Thank have you. Parking brake is on. Shelly low engines. Hello everyone, we are finally in Paris. Uh, uh, we have just uh, finished our flight and now we're going to hand you over to the next crew to take you back to Bahrain. Pleasure flying with you and thank you for flying Elfir. Hey friend, hello, Gulf Air 016, receipt of clearance, uh, QNH 1017, Bay Charlie 06, ready for start and push. Gulf Air 016, push off from uh, Charlie 6, start and push back approved, facing east. Start push approved, face east, Gulf Air 016. Uh, cockpit ground. Go ahead. Uh, we are clear, facing east. Okay, maybe there is a break. Okay. Stand by one second. Okay, parking brake is released now, and off jocks time will be... 5-4. Five, 5-4, four. Five, four. okay, push back up, pull face east, and I advise you for starting. Thank you.
Relatively quick taxi today, and uh, currently we're overhead uh, Czech Republic. Uh, we have approximately five hours to go, give or take. Uh, hey guys, welcome back to the flight deck. Uh, so far, we've been uh, three hours and 55 minutes into the flight, and uh, I guess with the uh, previous uh, shots, you can see that the sun is setting now in the west. Uh, the moon is rising over there in the east, and uh, other than that, as for the flight pla flight progress, we just got into Iraqi airspace. We've just passed uh, Erbil to our right here. Uh, and as you can see, this is the position of the aircraft, which is updated real time. Uh, and we're going down all the way onto uh, Kuwait's airspace. As you can see here, this outlines the whole airspace. This is uh, Arag, and then you can come here, it comes in Kuwait. And it, this iPad is now magic for nowadays. Before, we used to have to go through charts and stuff. And uh, we can see all the airports around us here. And here you can see all the airways, basically like a highway on the road. And here you have the navigational aids on the iPad, which is very helpful, as you can see, like ADFs or VRs. And basically these are the restricted sp areas that you can't go in. Uh, if there's any activities, there's uh, no times that you can read and familiarize yourself with it. And here you can go through the terrain. I can see if there's any high mountainous areas or so. And this is reflected as well through the grid system here. As you can see, it's 142, that stands for 14,200 feet. So you know there's a high mountain up ahead, so don't turn into it, run away from it. Uh, and this is just a position monitor just to familiarize yourself between uh, your position of the aircraft and whichever grid section you would like to have. Uh, and this is as for the iPad and flight plan progress. What we've been doing is we've been doing fuel checks all the way. Uh, and, uh, we've been checking the uh, systems of the aircraft through the uh, ECP, which stands for ECAM uh, Centralized uh, Aircraft Monitoring System. Uh, this is the center, the panel itself, as you can see here if you'd like to check it out. We have the cruise page here, which pops out automatically as soon as we hit the cruise phase. You'll see all the important information that you require. You have the fuel used on the left tank, on the right tank, and you add them both in total and you get this the oil, the vibration of the engine fans, uh, the N1 and N2, which is the outer and inter internal fan as well. And you have the landing elevation. Let's say you're landing in, uh, I guess, Nepal, for example. That's a very high airfield. It'll, the aircraft will adjust itself accordingly to uh, anticipate for the high airfield itself. So once we land, your ears don't pop. I guess uh, now we can start from here, left to right. Uh, we have our, uh, basically, the brightness for our PFD, which is the primary function display. And this button switches over between these two, so I can have my ND here and my PFD here. Basically, we have the ND here, which is the navigational display. Obviously, we can uh, adjust the brightness as well. We have two knobs here, though. We have one knob that uh, controls the visibility that we would like to see here with the uh, weather stuff. And the other one controls this. And basically on the PFD, we have the speed here. Now we're maintaining uh, 250 knots, but realistically, we can look at the ground speed here, which is 467 knots. So that takes into consideration the wind and all of these stuff. And Mac-wise, we're doing decimal 770, which is more or less 77% of the speed of sound, which makes it uh, simpler. And we have the two X's here, the green ones, which is the FD, which is what we call the flight director, and this little yellow square in the middle. We have to keep flying it uh, always, unless there's an issue, of course. 
and we have the heading over here. I guess this uh, this is a quick overview for the PFD. It shows that we're in Mac mode, we're in altitude is in cruise, we're following the navigation and basically what we're getting from the MCDU itself, autopilot 1, 1 FD2, basically my FD is on and his FD is on, and the auto thrust is active. And once we come to this shared panel here between myself and my colleague, uh, this uh, knob basically controls the speed. Now you see dashes here, dashes here. That's basically I'm telling the aircraft, you fly with whatever I programmed you with. If I would like to take control, I have to pull it out. And then as you can see, decimal 77 mark. Now it's currently flying on speed. Well, if you push this little button, it will go to speed. But we don't fly at these altitude on speed. We use we fly using Mach. So now I don't want to use the speed. I'll, I'll let the aircraft do what it wants. And so I push it in. It does it managed. And you have the heading here. I wouldn't want to pull the heading out now since we're flying in the airway. Basically, let's say if there's an air, the ATC would like us to pick up a different heading, he'll tell us heading 140. I pull it out and turn. The altitude here, you have an increments of 1,000 or 100, depending on what you want. VS is what if I would like to control the vertical speed manually. Uh, the aircraft disregards everything, including speed, and would follow the vertical speed to what you have advised it to. And in case, let's say we've busted uh, an altitude, for example, we got uh, busy doing something, uh, so we just push this immediately and the aircraft will abruptly just maintain the altitude that it's currently at. So autopilot 1 and 2, very clear, auto thrust, your localizer, your expedite button, that's if you would like to expedite your climb, so you click it, it will go to the lowest speed possible, give it the best rate of climb. And we click this button if we'd like to shoot an ILS approach. And if you're watching this video, I guess you're very enthusiastic and you know already what's an ILS. Or if you'd like to shoot an RNAV approach. As you can see, it shows you here basically if uh, someone is using the PA, like the crew members or so, and if the video is on, uh, the, a button for the cockpit door video. This is the ADRS, which we have uh, spoken about earlier on the data system, which is the position. As you can see, now they're all working fine. If something goes wrong, basically they either blink or they flash fault. Or As you can see, just we'll set this up. You'll see a fault light, fault light. These can either blink or whatnot. And uh, this consists of uh, IR and ADR. And then you go below here, there's nothing around here. You have the flight control panel here, which we have seen in the ECAM, uh, the ELAC and the SEC. And you have the evacuation panel here. And if I lift this up and click it, it will sound a horn at the back. And that means evacuate the aircraft. You have the horn shut off because it's such a noisy buzzer or horn. I can click this and switch it off. Uh, you have two settings, captain and purser, basically the cabin member, and you have another setting for the captain. And then uh, at the b bottom here you have the hydraulic. See each page shows, each panel shows hydraulic fuel and what it's uh, associated with. You have the hydraulic panel, you have the engine pump, electric pump, the PTU, which we have discussed in the ECAM. If there's a failure you can do some switchings if the aircraft tells you to do so. Below it you have the fuel, which is the, the fuel pumps, transfer feed, mode selector, and below it you have the electrical panel. Uh, localizer frequency will be uh, 110.3 India Bravo India Alpha to be identified on my side. And it's popping out here. Minus 3 on the slope, which is correct, 3 on the slope here. Final approach course is 300, which is set again. And 4.5 miles India Bravo India Alpha, 1500, which is set here correctly again. Elevation is 8 feet, showing 0, and MSA, airport, air, airport reference point, which is 2,000 feet. Set altitude to Pascal around elevation, transition is 150, uh, altitude is 13,000 feet. DME is required. Case of uh, missed approach, climb on 300 to 2,500 feet and contact ATC. 
which is all set in the box. Cat one, check. Five hundred. Stable, continue. Land. Check. Hundred above. Check. Minimum. Continue. Check. Spoilers, reverse as green, diesel. And manual brakes, check. 70 knots. 70 knots. just landed to Bahrain safely uh, now it's 7 uh, 20 minutes 25 minutes past 7 uh, so we're right on time and I hope you did enjoy the flight with us and see you again soon somewhere in the sky